Hello, welcome to Engineering Academy. We are discussing mathematical induction, and before break, we had discussed some questions, and this is lecture number two. So I hope you have uh, watched part one before watching this part two. Then only you'll be able to understand this. So, so now let us discuss question number four. Uh, first three questions we had discussed already, and now this is question number four. That one. 1 into 2 into 3, 1 into 2 into 3, plus 2 into 3 into 4, plus 3 into 4 into 5, up to n into n plus 1, n plus 2. This is what? And then n into n plus 1, n plus 2, and n plus 3 divided by 4. n plus 2 n plus 3 divided by 4. This is what you need to prove. So, again, uh, we can say let Pn is equal to let Pn is equal to 1, 2, 3 and uh, plus 2, 3, 4 3, 4, 5 plus up to n into n plus 1 n plus 2. Right? So, this is equivalent to Pn. And uh, if I put n is equal to 1, so for P1, the LHSH for n is equal to 1, you can write like this search. For n is equal to 1, this will be 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2, and this will be 1 into 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3 and divided by 4, isn't it? 4. So, this will be 1 plus 1, 2 into 3 and that will be 2 into 3 into 4 by 4. So, 4 and 4 cancel, 6 is equal to 6 which is 2, which is 2. So, therefore, P1 is 2, P1 is now we can write in the again let it be true for let it be true for some natural number natural number m belong to n in that case this will be 1 plus 2 3 2 into 3 into 4 3 into 4 into 5 like this up to m into m plus 1, m plus 2 and that result will come m into m plus 1, m plus 2, m plus 3 and divided by 4. Now, let uh, me show that uh, this one, what I have written, it is not recorded in fact. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3, p m plus 1 and the last step to be right here m into m plus 1, m plus 2 and in place of this last step I should write here m plus 1, m plus 1, plus 1, m plus 1, plus 2 that is m plus 3. So, using this result for first a what will come and I can take m plus 1, m plus 2, m plus 3 common from these two. So, if I would have taken common this one, this one and this one. So, this one, this one and this one. So, what is left here? m is left and 4 is left. So, that is m by 4 is there and uh, everything has been taken common. So, it will be 1 only there. Now, if I put LCM then it will be m plus 4 and whole divided by 4. So, this result will come and uh, wherever there is an m, now it is m plus 1. See that in place of m there is m plus 1, m plus 1 plus 1, m plus 2, m plus 3, m plus 4 and divided by 4. So, that comes here. So, since it is true for n is equal to n plus 1, hence by principle of mathematical induction, it is true for all n. Now, question 5 is 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube, like that, n into 3 to the power n is equal to 2n minus 1 into 3 to the power 2n minus 1 into 3 to the power n plus 1 and plus 3 divided by 4. This is what you need to put. 
Now, how can you prove this? So again, for a solution, you have to go through the same process. Put n is equal to 1 and which will lead to 1 into 3 to the power 1, 2 into 1 minus 1, 3 to the power 2 plus 3 divided by 4. And that comes up here, what 3 into 2 minus 1, that is 1 into 9 plus 3 divided by 4. So, 3 is equal to 9 plus 3, 12 by 4, that is 3. So, 3 is equal to 3 and therefore, P1 is true. Right? Now, we can uh, proceed further. Let it be true for, let it be true for, for n is equal to m for some natural number, some natural number. Right. So, what I can write here? 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus m into 3 to the power m is equal to 2m minus 1, 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 whole divided by 4. That is equation 1. Now, pm plus 1, if I am writing this, then this will be 1 plus 3, 2 into 3 square. 3 into 3 cube and up to this is step m into 3 to the power m plus one more step m plus 1 3 to the power m plus 1 and if I proceed then uh, up to this level I can use this 2m minus 1 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 whole divided by 4 plus m plus 1 into 3 to the power m plus 1. So, using this fact, I can calculate here what you need to write using 1 and I can write it like uh, 2m minus 1 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 into 4 times of m plus 4 into 3 to the power m plus 1 whole divided by 4. So, further it can be written as because in these two uh, 3 to the power m plus 1 is there. So, I can take common. So, it would be 2m minus 1 plus 4m plus 4 uh, into 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. And what is left? That is 4m plus 2m is 6m and 4 minus 1 is 3 into 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So, I can take 3 common also. So, that will be 2m plus 1 into 3 and that will be 3 to the power m plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. This further can be written as 2 times of m plus 1 minus 1, isn't it? because 2m plus 2 minus 1 that will be 2m plus 1 that can be written and 3 to the power m plus 2 plus 3 divided by 4. Clearly, wherever there is an n, m, now it is m plus 1. So, this is true for n is equal to m plus 1. This is true clearly. Clearly, this is true for n is equal to m plus 1. Hence, true for by principle of mathematical indexing, true for all n belong to n. So, this is what we need to prove. Now, question number 6. Question number 6. What is that? n into n as well. n into n plus 1, n plus 2 by 3. So, again, we can proceed with the same process solution. Let p n is equal to, put n is equal to 1 and what is that? m 1 into 1 plus 1. This is 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 divided by 3. So, this is 2 and this is 2 into 3 by 3, 3, 3 cancel. So, 2 is equal to 2, which is true, which is so, therefore, P1 is true. P1 is true. 
that is true for n is equal to 1. Now, again we can write it. Let it be true. Let it be true for n is equal to m some natural number. n is equal to m where m is some natural number where m is some natural number, natural number, right. So, in that case, what will happen? The result will be 1 plus 2, 2 into 3, 3 into 4, like this, m into m plus 1 and that will be nothing else but m into m plus 1, m plus 2 divided by 3 and this is equation 1. Now, for p m plus 1, p m plus 1, the result will be 1 into 2, 2 into 3, 3 into 4, up to m into m plus 1, this is p m, right? This is just equivalent to p m. So, p m plus 1 will be one step more than this. And for this, to write last step, uh, you should use m is equal to m plus 1. Jo aakri step hai, is me m ke jaga pe m plus 1 rakh dena hai. Bas. Ab iske badle, yaha tak result jo aapne istamaal hai. Iske liye m into m plus 1 ke badle, yeh sara chiz lik sakta. m into m plus 1, m plus 2, whole divided by 3, plus yeh wala ra gaya. m plus 1, m plus 2, hai na? So, dono mein se m plus 1 or m plus 2 common liya ja sakta hai. So, yahaan se raha jayega m by 3 or yahaan se raha jayega 1. So, if I would take common m plus 1 and m plus 2, then here it is left m by 3 plus 1. And in that case, it will be m plus 1, m plus 2 and m plus 3 whole divided by 3. So, wherever there is a name, jahaan jahaan m tha, wahaan wahaan m plus 1 aan gaya. So, clearly, you can write, it is true for, true for n is equal to m plus 1. Hence, by principle of, principle of mathematical induction, mathematical induction, it is true for to for all n n we can write like that now we can take up question number 7 and what is that 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 up to 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 and that is equal to what n into that is equal to n into 4n square plus 6n minus 1 whole divided by 3 that you need to prove. So, using the fact uh, again the same process what we have put n is equal to 1 we can go that put n is equal to 1 we have 2 into 1 minus 1 this will be 2 into 1 plus 1 that will be 1 into 4 into 1 square plus 6 into 1 minus 1 whole divided by 3. This is 1 and 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 1 3. 1 into 3 is 3 and this is 4 plus 6 minus 1 by 3. So, 3 is equal to 4 plus 6 10 minus 1 9 by 3 that is 3. So, which is true? Which is true? So, clearly It is true for true for n is equal to one. True for n is equal to one, isn't it? Now we can write again. Let it be true for it be true for n is equal to m or some natural number some natural number n, natural number, 
right? In that case, what will happen? 1 into 3, 2 into 3 into 5, that will be 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 and up to 2m minus 1 into 2m plus 1 and that should come m into 4m square plus 6m minus 1 whole divided by 3. This is equation 1. Now, you have to show that Pm plus 1 is also. So, if I can write here Pm plus 1 that is, it is true for this is equivalent to Pm. So, Pm plus 1 is nothing else but 1 into 3, 3 into 5, 5 into 7 plus this one is 2m minus 1 and 2m plus 1 and if I put here m is equal to m plus 1, then next step will be 2m plus 1 and 2m plus 3, isn't it? See, whatever this last step is the first step in the next one and last step is first step and second step is two more than. So, this is the last step should be first step and the second one is two more than this. So, 2m plus 1 plus 2 is 2m plus 3. So, clearly, if I can use this m into 4m square plus 6m minus 1 all divided by 3 plus this one 2m plus 1 and 2m plus 3 using 1. Don't forget to write this. Now, if I can simplify this, what will happen? m into 4m square plus 6m minus 1 and uh, plus 3 times of 4m square plus 3 to just 6m plus 2m, 8m plus 3 whole divided by 3. Now that can come up like uh, 4m cube plus 6m square minus m plus 12 m square plus 8 3 are 24 m plus 9 whole divided by 3 and that will come up as 4 m cube plus 12 plus 6 18 m square and 24 minus 1 23 m plus 9 divided by 3 and that can be further written as 4 times of m plus 1 whole is m plus 1 into you can write it m plus 1 into 4 m plus 1 whole square plus 6 m plus 1 and uh, minus 1 whole divided by 3 whole divided by divided by 3. Uh, you can use check it whether we can write it or not. Yes, kya milega? 4m square. 4m square multiply by m. 4m cube. Yes, se milega? 2m into 4. 8m plus 6m. 8m plus 6m kitna hoga? 8 plus 6. Uh, yeah, but 2m and 4 to ja 8m. 8m plus 6m. 614 14m multiply by m 14m square or yaha pe jo constant milega yaha pe milega 1 so 4 into 1 4 or uh, yaha pe milega 6 10m 4m square m square will not come in here it's let me check if you want to show it then m plus 1 should be factor and that is why conveniently you can write it break up like uh, that will be uh, let me write 4 m cube plus 4 m square plus what is that 14 m square plus 14 m plus 9 m plus 9 whole divided by 3. Now we can take 4 m square common and then what is left m plus 1. If I took 14 m common then what is left m plus 1. If I took 9 common then m plus 1 simple. So, you can write a step by step like this and then what will come if I took m plus 1 common then what is left 
inside a 4m square plus 14m plus 9 upon 3. Now again you have to write here m plus 1 whole square. So we can write m plus 1 and this is 4 into m square plus 2m plus 1. So that will be 4m square plus 8m and so 6m left here and 4 1 ja 4 and there is 9 so 5 will be left here and now we can divide it by 3. So up here ho gaya, m plus 1 into yaha ho gaya, 4 m plus 1 ka whole square. Then you want 6 into m plus 1. So yeah, 6 and plus 6 ho gaya. Aur aapko hai 5 minus 1 divided by 3. So pura ka pura step likhna chaate hai. To aise lik sakte hai. A lik sakte hai clearly. This is true for. True for. N is equal to. N plus 1. Hence. True for. All N. Okay. Aise. So ye question ho gaya. Now the next question is <coughs> question number question number eight and what is that question is right here that is one into two plus two into two square plus three into two cube. Similarly, n into two to the power n is equal to n minus one into 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 2 that we have to put right now so put n is equal to 1 and what is left here 1 into 2 to the power 1 this is 1 minus 1 0 1 minus if I put 1 then this will be 0 isn't it this will be 1 minus 1 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 so this will be 2 here and 0 plus 2 is 2. So which is true? Which is true for n is equal to m plus m. n is equal to 1. True for n is equal to 1. Now we can write again. Let it be true for. Let it be true for n is equal to m where m is some natural number some natural number right so what will happen in that case this will be 1 pm equivalent to 1 into 2 plus 2 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 cube up to m into 2 to the power m that is equal to m minus 1 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 2. This is the equation first. Now, pm plus 1 is equal to, what is that? 1 into 2, 2 into 2 square, 3 into 2 cube, and up to m into 2 to the power m, and next step will be m plus 1 into 2 to the power m plus 1. So, using 1, what we can write here? We can use the result. So that will be m minus 1, 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 2 plus this result will come. This is what from first and m plus 1 into 2 to the power m plus 1. This is using 1. I can write here using 1. Isn't it? Now m plus 1. 2 to the power m plus 1 is here also and 2 to the power m plus 1 is here also. So we can take common. So what is left here? m minus 1 and that is m plus 1 and both has common 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 2. So that will come up 1 1 cancel m plus m is 2m into 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 2. If you multiply with 2 up, then power will increase and what is that? It will be m left m into 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 1. Isn't it? Plus 2. And further it can be written as m plus 1 minus 1. Isn't it? m plus 1 minus 1. 
that would be m exactly and 2 to the power m plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. So clearly it is true for n is equal to m plus 1 and hence it is true for all n. That is the proof. The last line you may write here. Right? Clearly it is true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence it is true for all n. I hope you got it. Okay. Next question is question number 9. So I would like to write here question number 9 and what is that? This is again simple question 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 till 1 by 2 to the power n and that is equal to what will come? 1 minus 2 to the power n. This is possible. So we can again write put n is equal to 1 the same process is there. So if I put n is equal to 1 then this will be 2 to the power 1 and 1 minus 2 to the power 1. So that will be 1 by 2 and 1 minus half is half which is true. Which is true. So again we will write here that uh, let it is true for let it be true for some natural number. Some natural number n is equal to m. So in that case this result will come like 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus up to 1 upon 2 to the power m that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power m. This is first. Now for m plus 1 we can write now for m n is equal to m plus 1 we can have addition type 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 up to 1 by 2 to the power m plus 1 upon 2 to the power n plus 1 and that you have to prove here what that 1 minus 2 1 by 2 to the power m plus 1 so using first this can be written as that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power m plus 1 upon 2 to the power m plus 1 using 1 and what is left here 1 minus I can write it like 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power m plus uh, 1 by 2 into 2 to the power m so I can take 1 by 2 to the power m common so if I will take 1 by 2 to the power m common then what is left here 1 by 2 positive and minus 1 by 2 is negative so that will come up like 1 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 minus 1 because minus 1 by 2 will become minus 1 by 2 or even you can take minus common so there is no problem so if I write here minus uh, then that will be 1 minus 1 by 2. So, 1 minus, if I will take 1 by 2 common, then what is left here? 1. And because negative sign is being taken, so here it will be 1. So, that will be half also. So, this will be 1 minus 2 to the power here m and 1 power it will increase so m plus 1. This is what this. So, clearly it is, see here, there is an m and now it is m plus 1. So clearly it is true for clearly it is true for n is equal to true for n is equal to m plus 1 hence by hence by principle of mathematical index and shortly we can write p here. It is true for true for all n belonging to n. That's the proof. So I hope you got it. Isn't it? Hopefully you got it. And this is what uh, I wanted to tell you. And now you practice them. Uh, if there will be any problem, uh, you will ask in the next class. Till then, I hope you will practice the remaining questions and remaining questions you will do and also don't forget to do questions given in exercise or examples as well. 
So also try to solve questions in examples and if there is any problem, you must ask in the next class. So thank you and God bless you.